Hi Aquarius, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for a tarot reading for all Aquarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, thanks to all of you for all the support. I appreciate it all, and if you are new here, welcome. I post new readings on Friday, then again on Monday. So if a reading doesn't resonate, come back in a couple of days. Fridays are always a general reading, so those will bring in aspects of career, money, moving, travel, and of course, love. And Mondays are something different every week. So one week, it could be a more detailed Celtic cross. The next week, a love reading or even a law of attraction tarot card reading. So if you like tarot and you like the channel, I'd love to invite you to subscribe to Higher Source Tarot. All right, what advice do you have for Aquarius? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What does Aquarius need to know, please, for the best and highest good of all concerned with Aquarius? Messages for Aquarius, please. All right, so we will start here with the tarot, and then we'll have the angel answers. <clears throat> you have here the Queen of Wands. The Six of Pentacles, the Page of Cups death, the sun, the page of wands, the two of cups, and the queen of cups. Very watery reading, but I'll tell you what, there's definitely love here. Um, you've got a new beginning somewhere here coming in. Now, you may have, with this energy, you've got quite a bit of water, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Of course, we have Scorpio and death. We have Leo here. We have um, earth and fire. So uh, with the queen of wands, in terms of a love relationship, now you have the queen of cups here too. And those two together brings in the passion, but also real love. I mean, there's, there's love, romance, trust, and a, a transparency. Okay. This is the kind of energy in a relationship where you can talk to the person about anything. You don't have to hide anything. If somebody has a little bit of debt going on, I do pick up on that a little bit. I, I do feel like they'll be open about it if it's you. It feels more like your energy, but it could be theirs too. Um, but again, I feel like with the Queen of Wands too, though, this is, um, it's a go-getter's energy. So you may find too that this is, if it's you that has a little bit of debt, like if it's student loan debt or something like that, you may find new opportunities to get it squared away because I don't see it lasting and lingering. You've got wonderful energies. So somebody too, if you've got... Um, I just keep getting it with that six of pentacles. If you've got some bills and stuff that you'd like to get better organized, I do see you doing that. And the queen of wands will help you because that, again, it pushes you forward. But in terms of relationships, the queen of wands and in terms of being, you know, working and being in a career, it's a very loyal energy. It's very trustworthy. It's moving forward and it's all about expanding your life. So in this energy, if you're single, you may find you get a lot of attention in this Queen of Wands energy, everybody notices this queen. And so you may, you know, when, you, when you're when you out and about, you may find people talk to you more, interact with you more. Um, but overall with this too, especially with the pages that are here, they're about spontaneity and fun and, and building up your life. So with the Six of Pentacles here, this actually is going to bring in some financial balance. And that's where I get the thing with if somebody has a little bit of debt, I don't feel like it's anything insurmountable, but I do feel like you'll end up taking some action just to get it better managed so it feels like you're really on the right path with this. Now, I mentioned the Queen of Wands is great for career expansion. So is the Sun. So for some of you, too, with the Six of Pentacles, you may have some new responsibilities, but they end up paying off or new avenues, new streams of revenue, new ways to make money with this. Um, but either way with this, it's very much reciprocal kind of energy. So in a relationship too, it may bring in some balance. It may also bring in those of you that are getting serious or you get serious with somebody. It may bring in that shared, you know, you're sharing bills and that just gives you more money. I mean, you're not having to pay out, you know, the full rent or electricity or even if it's a mortgage too. And so with this, I do feel like you'll be in, you'll be on the right track with money here too. Well, the pages are messengers. So I love the page of wands and the page of cups together. But these two, you know, you have to kind of be careful with this because they're so spontaneous and fun-loving and free. 
uh, you can end up, you know, getting yourself into a bit of trouble. It's that kind of energy where it's like, you know, the, the two people who, the two best friends who don't have any boundaries, you know what I mean? They just get going together. Um, but I also feel like, and I, and I say trouble, I mean that very lightly. Okay. I don't mean it like any real trouble, but it's a fun, this is going to be a fun energy. So for some of you, you may find that you just connect more socially with people um, and get out more, have more fun, have more invitations, big increase, especially with the page of wands there because you're open to it. But with the Page of Cups, this is Law of Attraction energy. It's also, too, attracting a relationship with that Two of Cups. I definitely feel like for somebody here, <clears throat> now the Queen would be nice here, too, but somebody here, you have a relationship. It can be the return of an ex. Um, so those of you that are asking about reconciliation, you do have cards to support it. And when you have the Two of Cups, they're telling you it's worth the investment. So those of you that are talking to somebody again, who you may have had an on again, off again thing, it may all just be about boundaries, setting boundaries and expectations. And if they're not interested in it, then you keep it moving. But otherwise, for some of you, there's going to be a re recommitment here. So anyway, the page of cups will be, it's an uplifter's energy. It's a new energy. And it does bring in that fun and spontaneity that we talked about, but it also brings in love. So the death card is a new beginning. So We've got a dawn of a new day here. And whatever this is, it's going to be that letting go of the old for the new. So even if it's reconciliation with that page of cups, I do want to say it's about being starting on a brand new, fresh, clean beginning, not dragging the past with us. He steps over the wreckage of the past. Now, the death card is also the skeleton represents your higher self, telling you that something needs to be done. And it's time to just move forward. That horse represents the truth, integrity, moving forward too with your head held high and moving forward into something that you've asked for. This is a card that tells you you have a new life. It's a rebirth. And so as we let go of the old, it's a big transformation. This may be one of the most transformational um, cards in the deck. Now, normally after death, we have temperance, but in your case, you have the sun, which might be even better. So you have you have the sunrise here. There's very few sunrises in the cards. You have, of course, the sun. So there is going to be some kind of a new beginning. And this is a card of synergy. It's like a brand new lease on life. It's true joy. It's gains. It's riches. So for those of you that are making some moves financially to get things better organized, it is going to pay off. No doubt about it, especially too if there's an, something with interest rates <clears throat> where you can lock things in before any potential hikes or move things. If there's balance transfers, if you have something too I get with that, like if you're paying or you're not aware that you're doing it, I just get almost a four of pentacles vibe up here. And so what it does though, that kind of energy creates this. It leads you into this where you feel really secure, but you have an opportunity here as well. So for some in a relationship, you're going to be right in sync with somebody that comes in. And it does feel like a breath of fresh air. Like you really feel like this new energy, it's something, somebody who's, you've been, you just haven't had found. It just feels like that energy, that kind of easygoing, somebody, like I said, in the beginning, if there is a situation with a little bit of debt, they just don't care about it. You know, they're just kind of an easygoing, fun-loving, and, and somebody who wants a commitment, though, too, energy. So this Page of Wands has you expanding here. Again, this is a great energy for social interactions, getting out, going out to new places. The Page of Wands has absolutely no fear. It's all about creating a life that's worth living. And this page is going to be sort of like that invisible hand in your back that says, come on, let's go here. Um, but it is connecting with people as well. Now, the Page of Wands will also have you inspired to take more risks, like I mentioned earlier. And I, again, I don't feel like it's anything dangerous, but it also, too, with the energy of the sun, it may be, and the Queen of Wands, it may be about career expansion too. So you may find that you volunteer for more things at work because you actually want to, but it's driving you towards making gains. So some of you with that, if you find that people are going, God, why would you want to do that? You know, like coworkers and things that are, you know, almost like, oh, I would never. If for you, there's something else, there's something more. And that's why this, those, those intuitive hits that you're getting, 
they're important because it's leading you to something more. It's a development. That's what pages really are. They open the door to something more. <clears throat> well, the two of cups, you definitely have a match. Now, for some of you, I'll go back to that six of pentacles again, because I do feel like you have a match in terms of organizing your finances, your money, getting things straight, and whatever, whatever it is that you feel inspired to do. Like I said, if it's some kind of consolidation or just management over things, you're going to feel a relief from it. Like, yep, that was the right thing to do. And it was, it's a match in kind of a different sense. But those of you that this is love, this is the kind of love that it's a soulmate. You are connected. You feel that connection. And you also, too, I feel like you can completely let your guard down. Now, if there's something with the physical body and it's a match with somebody in terms of a professional, I also feel like you're going to be completely transparent. You're not going to try to hide anything. And I mean, you know, a lot of times people aren't hiding anything. They think they might be, but they have training to see certain things. I mean, I was just talking to somebody that works in anesthesia that said they can tell when somebody's abusing drugs because the anesthesia doesn't work well. So I thought that was interesting. I had never thought about that. But either way, that was just sort of an offshoot. All right, Aquarius, with the Queen of Cups here, it is a card that reminds us too to, to have some self-care, but overall with this, I do feel like it's again about some kind of commitment, whether it's a friendship that runs really deep and you can just talk about anything or it's a love relationship. You definitely have somebody's energy showing up here. Who's I like that it's interesting that it's complementary with both the pages of wands and cups, queens of wands and cups, okay? So there's something about this. There's an emotional connection, but it's something that expands and grows. It's beautiful energy. So let's um, let's see what the angels have to say for you here, Aquarius. <clears throat> and that thing about the anesthesia, that was just an example. It wasn't <laughs> anything directed at you. Uh, there's always one that thinks it's <laughs> somehow... Me accusing them of hiding something, absolutely not. It just came into my mind. Okay, let's see what else Aquarius needs to know, please. <laughs> oh, okay, you've got meditation brings answers. So again, we talked, there's kind of a go, go, go energy in this. That's going to be important. Ask your angels. Ask and they will give you signs. Your, the universe is trying to interact with you, even through this reading. Get more information. So there may be something too with the wand energy and even the sun's sun energy that brings in information that helps you move forward within the next few months, they say. You've got Don't Stop Aquarius. You're on the right track. I love you and I'll be back again soon.